So, very good morning to one and all. Am I audible? Very good morning to one and all. Yes. Respected Dr. Sister M. Rashmi A.C., Principal Patna Women's College, Autonomous. Respected Dr. Bhavna Singha, Head Department of MCA, Patna Women's College, Autonomous. Head and Dean, Student Welfare, Department of Education, Professor Dr. Rajni Ranjan Singh, Dr. Shakuntla Mishra, Nash National Rehabilitation University, Lucknow, and dear participants. I, Ms. Hera Shaheen, Assistant Professor, Department of MCA, welcome you all on five days online faculty development program on technology management. An initiative by the Department of MCA, Patna Women's College, Autonomous, under the AICT scheme, Atal Academy. Before we start our day, let's pause for a moment and do a prayer for seeking God's blessings and thanking God for gracing this great day of online FDP. God has blessed us with good health, good heart, and peace in our mind. Let's begin our day. I welcome you all to the fifth day of this online FDP on technology management. This FDP is organized by Department of MCA Patna Women's College to provide an excellent platform for faculties to upgrade and enhance their technology management knowledge. May I now have the honor to introduce and welcome our eminent resource person, Professor Dr. Rajni Ranjan Singh, Head Department of Education, Dr. Shakuntla Mishra, National Rehabilitation University, Lucknow, to talk on the techno-pedagogical interventions. He is a professor of education since June 2015 in DSM and RU. He is a Dean of Student Welfare. He is in charge Central Library. He is a member of Board Studies. He is member of research degree committee, member of internal quality assurance cell. He is a member of National Council for Teacher Education, New Delhi. He is a member of Academic Council, Institute of Engineering and Technology, AKTU, Lucknow, UP. He is a member of Board of Studies, School of Education, Uttar Pradesh, Rajeshri, Tandon University, Prayagraj. He is the visitor nominee. His Excellency President of India, Guru Ghasi Das, Central University, Bilaspur. He has more than 15 years of teaching experience and 12 years of administrative experience in higher education. Sir has published 45 research papers, 
articles in both national and international journals of high repute. He holds PhD in education on the topic study of human values as enshrined in the Constitution of India among other higher secondary students in relation to their educational and demographic variables. He has done MED from BHU and gold medal. He has qualified UGC net in education as well as in psychology. His teaching and research area of specialization is research methodology and quantitative analysis in behavioral sciences, psychological foundations of education, measurement and evaluation, and special and inclusive education. He attended more than 70 seminars, workshops, conferences, symposia, and conventions in different capacities as a key speaker, chairperson, and paper presenter at the national and international levels. Two PhDs in education have completed under his supervision, and currently seven research scholars are enrolled for pursuing a doctoral program to obtain a PhD degree under his supervision. Wholeheartedly, thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation. May I now request our eminent resource person, Dr. Rajni Ranjan Singh, to kindly start the technical session. I extend a warm welcome to you, sir, and take over the session. Over to you, sir. Sir. Uh, thank you very much for introducing me on such a enlightened group. First of all, I would like to extend my heartiest uh, greetings to Dr. Sister M. Rasmi, AC, Principal Patna Women's College, Patna, and uh, Program Coordinator of uh, different program in the Department of Computer Application, Dr. Bhavna Sinha, and uh, all the participants, and including the introducer. Uh, you, it's a really great moment for me. This basically, I am the one of the alumnus of Patna University. And uh, really, I am. I have been a student of uh, Patna Science College, Patna College, Patna University. And then I moved to Banaras Hindu University. So it's a really, it's a matter of great privilege to me to share my views on this, uh, basically the state, that state is my motherland. And I'm really grateful to Patna Women's College and particularly the principal madam and uh, Bhavna Sinhaji, who have given me the opportunity to share my views on this uh, August gathering basically. So before starting, I just exactly, I extend my gratitude to all of you and uh, really, uh, this day would be the great, great day when we will be interacting. That session must be uh, the session must be interacting. The session must be the session must be. Just a moment because some just I'm sharing. So there is some problem. So definitely we will be. There, dude. What happened, sir? If you are not able to share, One you minute. can send us. We will share here. Yeah, I have shared. I have shared to Havana, okay. madam, also to okay. the PPT. Uh, 
Yeah. Just I'm trying to send. Uh, so uh, just I'd be uh, highlighting on particularly the. We can uh, we can try. क्या प्रॉब्लम आ रही है सर कैन यू कैन यू ट्राई आई मीन प्रॉब्लम दैट द शेयरिंग लिंक इज नॉट इनेबल्ड बेसिकली माइट बी द एडमिन एडमिन हैज टू आई मीन गिव मी द परमिशन टू शेयर दिस सम प्रॉब्लम इज सर यू यू आर फाइंडिंग द प्रेजेंट नाउ बटन या 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 जस्ट आई हैव शेयर येट बट टू ऑप्शन इज देयर शेयर एंड कैंसिल and share bun, uh, button is not functional even have you permitted me as a admin yes sir yes sir we have permitted so try what once again sir um, from the present now button you can share your entire screen ऑप्शन इज देर प्रेजेंट नाउ एंड योर एंटायर स्क्रीन बट द शेयर ऑप्शन इज नॉट आई मीन सो वन सजेशन शेयर बटन विल बी इनेबल वॉट Uh, first select the screen sir that window having one screen select that screen then share button will be enabled yes sir you have to select that select that screen then share button will be enabled so can you can you yes sir now it is coming i think uh, now not visible yet so ek bar aaya tha sir ha it is right slide is not visible yet now but fine so your video is also paused slide is not visible Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Audible. Now visible. Slides are visible now. The slides are visible. Hello. Hello. Can you see the I am in the screen now? Sir, your sl slides are visible. Yes, sir. Visible? Yes. Sir, so you, you can start. Your slides are visible now. You are audible also. Get your audio signal basically. Yes, just in chat box, whether you write yes or no, because फिर से बोलिए 
Sir, you are audible, sir. And your slides are visible. सर फिर से एक बार सर फिर से शेयर कीजिए सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर स्लाइड्स आर नॉट विजिबल सर कहा गया और सर डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया Sir, I think sir has got disconnected, so we should just wait for five minutes till sir so join. Maybe due to technical issue, sir got disconnected. So we will continue within a uh, few minutes. Have patience and wait. Participants, please wait. हेलो सर प्रवीण कुमार प्लीज प्रवीण कुमार जी प्लीज स्टॉप शेयरिंग प्लीज आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर दैट्स वे योर स्क्रीन इज ऑन एंड यू आर शेयरिंग दैट्स वे इट्स आई एम फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम यस सर यू नाउ प्रेजेंट नाउ सेलेक्ट स्क्रीन देन क्लिक ऑन शेयर बटन Uh, select that ppt and then click on the share button am i audible sir yeah 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 you are audible okay okay sir okay now screen you can see screen you can yes sir yes sir yes sir now it's okay okay sir okay. start your Fine. start your presentation thank you sir ourselves and uh, technology has made us uh, our life uh, comfortable has made us our life uh, very uh, i should say uh, it's a really a great uh, basically a uh, uh, part and parcel of human life so being a teacher only the traditional format of teaching that would not work because the uh, 21st generation 21st uh, century generation 
they are very smart a, a lot of problems are there right uh, like uh, population explosion influ uh, information explosion so being a teacher it's a i mean great time to think okay, what would be the modalities of teaching what would be the modalities of uh, learning so technology can be integrated can traditional teaching be replaced with fully technology based techno pedagogical initiatives or interventions so definitely because uh, as we know the global education development agenda reflected in goal 4 that is called sustainable development goal 4 and uh, the agenda is what ensure inclusive and equitable education and uh, for ensuring equitable and inclusive education technology is one of the key factor and if technology is the key factor then we have to reconfigure we have to reconsider we have to focus on the futuristic pedagogy basically what would be because the traditional teaching would not solve the problem so we have to make integration between tradition and technology and that the integration between tradition and technology that is the need of the bar so technology definitely it must be integrated in a very judicious manner without technological integration we cannot have a very comfortable life we cannot have a developed nation we cannot have a lifelong learning opportunities so to support and foster the all i mean the higher order goals we have to think okay, what would be the pedagogical initiatives because when we talk of when we discuss about pedagogy then we must know what pedagogy is and uh, when we discuss about the curriculum and teaching learning process then pedagogy as well as andragogy must be there and it should be the part and parcel of the curriculum development and curriculum transaction so being a teacher being a student of uh, teacher education being a practitioner of education first of all technology is not enough only highlighting and only discussing the technological gadgets technological tools technological all initiatives and interventions it's not sufficient it would not work in classroom it would not work in university and colleges as a tool for teaching learning process so technology must be developed in line with in consonance with pedagogical kind of thing so what pedagogy is there pedagogy is a teaching learning science which deals with the learning and teaching phenomena for child peda means child just we as we know that pediatrics peda centric peda means uh, children peda means uh, kids peda means uh, the child who is having because we have defined in right to education act the 6 to 14 years children they come into the category of basically child so the teaching learning process the teaching learning science which deals with the particular group of children that is called pedagogy and when we discuss about when we talk of andragogy andragogy means the science the science of teaching and learning which uh, is associated with adult 
so that andragogy and pedagogy must be the integral aspect of curriculum so without knowing the pedagogical aspects without knowing the andragogical aspects technology would not work because uh, pedagogy has the base of philosophy pedagogy has the base of sociology pedagogy has the base of technology pedagogy has the base of uh, psychology because uh, when you deal with a student then a student you have to focus on you have to keep in mind what would be the curriculum what would be the objective and objective is determined by objectives are determined by philosophical basis it's a basically it's a metaphysical question okay, what kind of uh, curriculum would be there what kind of uh, objectives would be there what kind of evaluation would be there because what society needs what society aspires what nation aspires that we put in our curriculum and through curriculum just we mold our students so curriculum basically is our molding structure so being a teacher being a practitioner being a academician being a researcher being a vibrant member of the society so philosophical foundation of pedagogy and ragazi we must know and uh, not only philosophical key what would be the curriculum because what the question what is associated with philosophy and uh, sociology deals with what ki what kind of society we are dealing with suppose the society of bihar the society of uh, city the society of rural areas the society of entirely they differ so the socio cultural aspects must be taken into consideration and without uh, knowing the socio cultural aspects pedagogy cannot be pedagogy cannot work and uh, not only the socio cultural aspects of pedagogy but psychological aspects also ki what uh, interest is there what is the level of interest of our learners what is the level of intellect what is the level of uh, individual difference what are the individual differences among the students so and the technological aspects to what ki whether technology is able to cater the needs of the students or not because students must be learner must be at the center that's why the latest trend is what we are talking of we are discussing we are focusing on learner centered teaching learner centered instruction so learner centered instruction is what we keep in mind the psychological aspects of learner sociological aspects of learner philosophical aspects of learner so when you just start classroom just when you use google classroom for teaching then first of all you should take a pause ki whether that google classroom will cater the all needs of the learner whether the swim portal whether the diksha whether the epg pathshala whether the all initiatives taken by the government all they are suitable for our learners or not so what changes should be there what modification should be there 
so is it suitable for our children with a special needs children with a special needs when we talk of then definitely we are talking of children with visual impairment children with hearing impairment children with giftedness children with learning disability ch uh, children with all kinds of i mean uh, uh, individual differences so before designing the technological uh, endeavor without before designing the or before initiating the technological initiatives basically so we must focus on the all aspects of uh, pedagogy and uh, at this time just we are facing a lot of problem this pandemic time so technology has given the solution the optimum solution but uh, there is a digital divide so what would be the i mean appropriate judicious technological initiatives which would bridge the gap of a uh, digital divide that bridging the gap is the need of the hour. so all you are basically the person who deals with who, who pure purely deals with technological development technological interventions all you are basically i would say the man of technology the person of technology so it's my urge it's my request so before developing it first of all you should think ki whether this technology would meet the needs of the students or not and for what group you are making it it should be used as a it should be used for the heterogeneous group or it should be used for the homogeneous group that homogeneity and heterogeneity must be taken into consideration so now if you because government of india has just launched just given us new education policy and in new education policy if you see the key factors is it's a highly it should be highly i mean focused on technology enabled education because in this time without technology we cannot even think of but what would be the nature what would be the form what would be the intervention what would be the endeavor that is needed that is needed to contemplate upon that contemplation is needed so the recognizing identifying and fostering the unique capabilities of the student even to achieve the foundational literacy even excuse me sir yes excuse me sir so your slides are not moving it is stuck at first slide yeah yeah just it's a, only the background just we will be uh, so please uh, bear sorry sir it's sorry only the interrupt. background of that definitely we will be my at my pace i'll be moving the slide please don't dictate from okay, that side it okay, will be sir. very difficult yeah okay sir okay okay sorry so that you know that uh, achieving the foundational literacy and numeracy to keep in mind the flexibility to focus on the multidisciplinarity multidisciplinarity and holistic education basically to emphasize on the conceptual understanding and uh, definitely to focus on creativity 
and critical thinking because sometimes technology hampers the creativity and uh, critical thinking so we must put in that uh, uh, i mean the designing that lms learning management system so that uh, creativity and critical thinking and def indefinitely the ethical aspects the humanistic aspects the constitutional aspects and uh, promoting the multilingualism because uh, in india you can find basically the diversified linguistic groups are there and we only focus on particularly the 90% technological initiatives you you can find in english so it has become the language of elite so we must keep in mind being a technocrat being a modern teacher being a 21st century teacher so we must realize the power of language so technology must be in regional languages so it's my request even to promote uh, the all technological initiatives in uh, regional language without uh, promoting the multilingualism because multilingualism opens the uh, several neurological windows basically it's a research of neurology so basically promoting multilingualism and uh, power of language realizing the power of language so basically it is the need of the art if you'll be and if we will be not uh, integrating incorporating the essence of multilingualism and the power of language then it should be very difficult and uh, technology is very helpful in and may be helpful in if uh, developed properly if developed uh, keeping in mind the heterogeneity of the group then it can be used on it can be used for assessment whether the assessment should be formative or summative so for promoting equity inclusion it is it would be very important to focus on the all aspects of uh, technology all aspects of pedagogy so as i discussed as all we know the education is a fundamental right you cannot ignore it it has become earlier it was in directive principle of a state policy now it's a part of fundamental right as we have added it in 21st a 21a of the constitution of india and uh, we are facing the situation of population explosion knowledge explosion resources limitations and uh, basically the all explosion whether it would be population explosion knowledge explosion resources limitation we need optimum resource planning because that optimal resource planning in the terms of teaching learning human resources technology all because uh, in 21st century because if any society if any nation is not uh, knowledge society and and if it has not developed as a knowledge economy that nation that society cannot survive so that optimum resource planning to build knowledge society and knowledge economy is must and uh, as we know that in universalization 
because in comparison to all the developed countries if you will compare the gross enrollment ratio then it's really very pathetic after 72 or 73 years of independence we are struggling for literacy we are struggling for even the basic education so though we have progressed but that progress and that uh, development is not up to mark so universalization of quality education is the need of the time for making inclusive society inclusive society means what if we should uh, all we should focus on the heterogeneity of the we should uh, celebrate the diversity sometimes the diversity is not being catering and we just uh, we are not able to catering the needs of the children with their special needs whether the children whether the students are from tribal areas whether the students are from minority groups where the students are from i mean the gender identities like transgender so all the i mean socio economic disadvantaged section in terms of gender identities in terms of socio cultural identities in terms of geographical identities in terms of uh, disabilities in terms of uh, socio economic condition so i mean we have to connect we have to make them mainstreamed to make the inclusive society and for inclusive society inclusive education is should be there and without inclusive education you cannot think of you cannot uh, make the society inclusive so for inclusive society inclusive education is needed and for inclusive education technology is needed and technology would be the key part so to make the campaign education for all successful and rather we should say not education for all successful for learning for all because uh, now in national education policy 2020 if you will find the major focus is on learning not on only on education learning outcomes access participation so technology must be developed keeping in the mind basically the basic formula of the participation that technological initiatives must be participatory it uh, must be engaging it must be keeping in mind the language and linguistic part of the student so not only education for all but learning for all so to make the campaign learning for all education for all successful we need to focus on learning for all it's a really important thing and learning for all emphasizes that here the the need of technology arises how learning for all emphasizes on universal design for learning and when we focus on universal design universal design means what the design for all suppose just you have developed any teaching learning program in english then definitely the 90% people would not be would not take the benefit from that and that beneficiary we have to if we will keeping in mind if we will be keeping in mind the all aspects then definitely the maxims of the canons of universal design must be there so keeping in mind the all diversity in terms of disability in terms of language in terms of socio economic condition that technology must be feasible that must be economical so before designing and before starting the endeavor so we must be trained in universal design so universal design is a kind of multidisciplinary initiatives it's a barrier free design it's a least restrictive design so 
universal design means universal access universal design means universal participation universal design means universal participation so universal design for learning must be we must keep in mind and this model emphasizes on flexible design for all blending of vivid experiences so when we engage only single sense single sense means only the visual stimulation sometimes we develop some animation and only visual animation so then the children with visual impairment they cannot be benefited and when we only put sound the audio kind of thing then the children with hearing impaired would not be benefited so the multi sensory approach multi sensory approach means uh, the cognition part cognitive domain cognitive domain cognitive domain means psychomotor domain and affective domain the all domains must be there and uh, and uh, if you are not considering the all domains of the behavior then definitely that technological initiative would not be judicious that would not be effective that would not be i mean fruitful that not be working so blending of vivid experiences amalgamation of face to face and open and distance mode of interaction synchronous and asynchronous modes of communication so sometime when you just start you know that uh, google meet zoom jitsi google classroom in pandemic uh, situation almost uh, all teachers are now more or less comfortable in handling all the technological applications but when we see the learning outcome of the student then a lot of problems are there then how to address that problem so i mean face to face interaction direct interaction in the terms of uh, synchronous and asynchronous modes of communication different learning styles as a pedagogical as a pedagogue or as a andragogue because uh, if you are a teacher then you then you are pedagogue and andragogue and being a andragogue being an andragogue and being a pedagogue just you must learn about the different learning styles whether it should be auditory learning kinesthetic learning visual learning all kind of so different learning styles must be there so when the technology man and the education the person who are the person who are knowing education with the help of both education and technology then it becomes the educational technology so technology in education technology of education so we have to focus on that and uh, definitely based on psychological and neuroscience perspective it means what now at this time the technology must be based on constructivism constructivism is a philosophical school it's a psychological school which believes that knowledge is the matter of construction knowledge is not the matter of only receiving and uh, the learner must construct learner must uh, 
gain the knowledge by their own effort so and uh, learner may be comfortable in learning in group in peers group so that i mean group based learning the peer based learning means social constructivist based learning social constructivist means learning that learner is comfortable in group so all learners they basically they focus on they enjoy basically in group learning so not only the personal constructivism but uh, social constructivism must be there and uh, a lot of i mean psychologists basically jean piaget bruno redgar deal and bendura in all the focused on the cognitive model of constructivism that is personal constructivism and social constructivism and all the technological i mean initiatives must be based on that personal constructivism and social constructivism so why is it important so effective technology integration into the curriculum definitely leads to positive reforms in teaching and learning so there should be paradigm shift and there is paradigm shift it moves traditional classrooms from teacher centered instruction it must be learner centered instruction single sense stimulation it must be multiple sense stimulation from single medium to multimedia information delivered to knowledge and wisdom kind of gaining passive learning from passive learning to active learning from only the factual knowledge based lateral thinking to effective learning and wisdom based learning and from isolated and artificial context to in group in social context and in original context on real context so this is what we are expecting from technology so definitely technology would enable from teacher centered to learner centered from single sense stimulation to multiple sense stimulations from single medium to multimedia but uh, the center point would be learning and learner and without having studied without having knowing the all dynamics of learning process because you have to learn the learning process without knowing the learning process you will be developing the technology then it would not work that's why if we develop some video and we put on youtube then learner says ki that that this is not effective this is not catering our need so you should develop in hindi you should develop in regional languages you should i mean develop in a very communicative way in a very synchronous kind of thing not asynchronous so basically we have to focus on the student centered classroom that reflect the like this just you see the students are learning in groups they personally attend their processor their own cpu their own brain is on and when they are not able to understand then they interact with the students they they co peers the peer learners and uh, by exchanging the dialogues by exchanging the communication they definitely learn in a better manner so 
that kind of initiatives that kind of endeavors must be there and uh, we should focus on authentic and active learning that that passivity that doesn't work because if learner would not be active then you cannot make them learn so that authenticity what uh, i mean what is the use of that the pragmatic aspect of learning because if uh, the learner would feel ki if uh, it is useful for them then they would be excited to learn otherwise they would not learn so the real aspect of life because learners are are real textbook the physical textbook are real really not textbook basically so learners are are real textbook so we must read the real textbook the living textbook the organismic textbook when we will be interacting with learner then definitely as per the need of the learner we will be developing the technological initiatives so i mean if uh, just you take an example if you are just developing a mono log, log kind of uh, video and if you are recording and if you have recorded suppose your own video only you are uh, just delivering the lecture only kind of monolog then you see the impact and if you just develop the video in multi logs dialogs just you make a small group you take a lesson and you just uh, take a diversified group of learner even that in studio and just uh, after interaction and after just you take the questions from students and just you respond you don't deliver your lecture as per the need of the learner just you pose the question just you raise the question just you ask them and uh, if you will be developing that type of uh, video it would be interactive kind of thing it would be more effective and that i mean just if you will find the video on nptel swim portal even you will find the very few videos and few multimedia content contents are based on that multi log basically multi log means what the content the lecture the learning environment that has been recorded that must be dealing with the group basically not only a single teacher is delivering the lecture without knowing the need of the learner so you can make it more authentic and active and then you can add several assessment questions assessment stations so even the viewer may be actively participating that kind of uh, initiative would be engaging even that must be based on the program instruction like program learning and program learning is basically is completely based on the psychological principles of learning so that uh, authentic and active learning and uh, it's a reflective and constructive learning as we discussed earlier also it just uh, you see learner is also writing learner is also viewing the video learning is doing some work also is mean it means what the reflection 
the highest level of objective basically it is if learning is reflective if learner is reflecting upon if you have given some assignment in that uh, video in that uh, multimedia content then definitely he would be feeling engaged so that reflective and constructive learning and constructive means what the activism of learner if only the teacher would be delivering the lecture if the teacher would be i mean directing the student then definitely you cannot be able to gauge the actual needs of the learner so reflective and constructive learning is very important so we must design such type of program that must focus on the reflective skills and the constructive situation for the learner and uh, that integration and a new learning environment because uh, we cannot make the curriculum homogeneous because if the learners are different then we have to integrate diversified learning experiences in that so that differentiated curriculum that meets the needs of all learners so in india basically particularly if you will be seeing it's my personal experience even as a teacher as a student even so a teacher just goes with their own plan and uh, he or she delivers the lecture and he or she even takes the help of technology without knowing the actual need of the students because the classroom size is very big because we hardly find time to study the learners needs we have to just finish the curriculum ki humne curriculum ko samapt kar diya humne apna syllabus samapt kar diya just we have finished it and finishing the curriculum it means finishing the learner so a differentiated curriculum that meets the needs of all learners that must be there and uh, it is if you will be studying the bloom's taxonomy you must i mean browse and you must uh, just try to find it out what bloom's taxonomy each and every teacher whether they they are associated with physics they are associated with chemistry they are associated basically they are teacher pass so they must the basically the techno pedagogical uh, so without knowing the basically you you may be a professor of physics but uh, you have to teach or you have to make your uh, learner i mean and first of all if you will be only delivering without knowing the what learner i mean feels what learner they need only you are you will be delivering the only the physics the content of physics then you are not a teacher you may be an instructor then you have to shift your role from instructor to teacher to to a vibrant uh, basically a uh, teacher basically so integration and a new learning environment then only you can develop the higher order thinking skills and problem solving strategies and you know that enrichment and expansion of their world is need of the art if you will be not enriching them if you will be not able to expand their own world then definitely their adjustment would be poor and uh, so engagement and excitement about a topic of study is a uh, good thing and uh, technology may help in that it's all the pedagogical concerns basically so if you will be managing the technology then you must first of all you if technology is used for learning if technology is used for teaching then first of all 
you should know what teaching is what learning is what education is what pedagogy is what learner is even then first you have to study the learner and the learning dynamics then you have to develop the technology so even technology and even the all pedagogical good pedagogical initiatives that improve that is helpful in improving the communication between home and school community so now we are in the space of fourth industrial revolution is around the corner even so this is i mean basically as a teacher as a academician as a technocrat as a researcher we should know ki what is the basic need of and what is the basic dynamics of fourth industrial revolution as we know the first industrial industrial revolution was mainly focused on use of steam and mechanically driven production facilities the second is industrial revolution the electric power driven mass production based on division of labor and uh, the third industrial revolution extensive use of controls it and electronics for an automated and high productivity environment but the fourth industrial revolution now it's a smart technology or smart means what based on integration of virtual and physical production system that is based on convergence that is based on inclusion that is must that is based on integration so that's why if you focus on if you just study if you are futuristic if you can see the future being a teacher then we have to focus on the fusion of the physical world because the fourth industrialist jo is is focusing on that it would be like that you have to make fusion between the physical world that is atoms and energy the digital worlds bits and quad bits and the biological world that is genes and neurons in a world of humans so we have to integrate the physical world the digital world and the biological world so if you are developing any technology then you have to focus on the what would be the pros and cons and what would be the adverse effect on the biology of the human being the physiological of the human being so only the developing because you know sometimes uh, if learners only in this pandemic situation just uh, the learner are i mean very close connection closely connected with the technology and they live in a very basically in the ambience are very harmful rays and waves that adversely affects their mental health that adversely affects their the physiological and the biological system even so what would be the adequate model what would be the judicious model what would be the timeline what would be the optimum i mean time frame for using it so that's why the fourth industrial is and that dynamics dictate us that fusion must be there the physical the digital and biological one if you will be not able to fuse the all dynamics related to physical digital and biological then it will be difficult then the human survival would be difficult so we are not uh, only matter just we have a very sensitive mind so teacher must be and the, i mean the researcher the technocrats all they must keep in mind that dynamics then that aspects that canons that's why the president of india honorable sri ramnath kovind sir reiterated the india of the 21st century will be one that is in conformity with our ancient values so we have to take care of that being a teacher 
So if, if we are not taking care of the ancient values, the tradition, the culture, the social cultural aspects, then we will be making robot and that robotic, robotic society doesn't work because we are the human being. We have to take care of emotion. We have to, we have to take care of the, all the psychological, sociological dynamics of the learner. So that's why he said that uh, that will be one that is in conformity with our ancient values as well as compliant with the fourth industrial revolution. There is no dichotomy there, no question of choice. We must combine tradition and technology. The wisdom of an age old Bharat and the science of a contemporary India. So that, that is uh, 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 important, and that is uh, as a this is a real pedagogical consideration, particularly in relation to, to technology, because uh, when we focus on the all aspect of that, then definitely as a teacher, we as a teacher, as a researcher, as an academician, as a functional member of the society, we must focus on that. So as I discussed earlier also, the United Nations on 25th September 2015 adopted a resolution with 17 sustainable development goals and 169 associated targets, which are integrated and indivisible. So of these goals, four is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. So for inclusion, for equitable quality education, the techno -pedagog pedagogical initiative would be needed. So that's why in new education policy, it is primarily based on this document. And if you will be reading the preface and you'll be reading the introduction uh, part of the National Education Policy 2020, then you will be you will be finding you will find that uh, I mean the Sustainable Development Development Goal is DZ goal, and uh, for ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. So this is what it is uh, needed, and uh, definitely. It's a time of artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, machine learning. But we have to keep in mind that uh, we are not a passive machine. We are a biological machine and biological machine has its own emotion. So <coughs> Nandan Nilkani exhorts even uh, at IIT Madras, graduates to become lifelong learners. So, so technology definitely uh, 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 would play a very important role and uh, still playing a very important role in making our learner lifelong learner. It will be learning in short bursts, anytime learning, anywhere, just in time learning. So keeping in mind the anytime learning, anywhere, just in time learning, the artificial intelligence and machine learning, just uh, we see the contribution, we see the role. Data into quantitative one, so that we must focus the sensitivity part of that, we must focus the real individual difference of the learner in terms of all the diversity, in terms of all the, basically, the vividity. So we have to consider it. So it's a, in computer technology, just as we all know that uh, 
that mega trends are there like uh, big data virtual reality and augmented reality vr and ar the internet of things iot digital manufacturing or 3d printing robots and drones blockchains mobile computing computational thinking machine learning big data all these are the mega trends in computer technology and all these are the mega trends of technologies of the fourth industrial revolution but before using it before authenticating it before making it justified so we have to take the the human aspect if we will be not uh, focusing on that uh, the human aspect then it would be very difficult so the most valued skills if we will be focusing on the basically the human aspect then we know that uh, we are emotional being we are creative being we live in society we live we prefer to live in group we prefer to coordinate we prefer to uh, negotiate even that cognitive negotiation so technology must be i mean focusing on that if uh, if uh, we will be taking the help of technology so these are the most valued skills because uh, that must be valued even so because uh, to develop the nation to develop the wall the cross to develop the any society to develop the community so we have to make train ourselves in complex problem solving so complex problem solving critical thinking i mean to develop the scientific inquiry creativity people management coordinating with others because uh, for making inclusion civ society coordination synergy collaboration would be needed because we are a human being so emotional intelligence judgment and decision making service orientation negotiation cognitive flexibility and cognitive flexibility means each and every technology the man of the person of technology if they are they want to make some contribution in teaching and learning then they must be well versed in cognitive science and in cognitive science they must learn ki how learning takes place what are the basically the psychological principles or psychological theories psychological canons of learning so there are lot of i mean psychological principles psychological theories because we are psychological being that's why we have to take consider we have to take consideration of that we have to consider so like a behavioristic model of learning constructivist model of learning cognitivist model of learning humanist model of learning so all kind of learning basically so if we are because our new generation they are really very competent and up because uh, now we teacher we traditional teacher just uh, if we deliver some lecture we if we deliver if we share some uh, then technology has prov provided the basically the verification tool each and every now students have their own uh, a mobile their own internet system their own uh, i mean the technological gadgets and if you share something the students usually verify it so now technology technology because the power of knowledge it has been decentralized so we have to take care of that it's a good thing but when decentralization is there then we have to make responsible we have to make uh, ourselves accountable and that accountability and responsibility must be there so 
for pedagogical kind of thing, particularly in teaching and learning arena, basically. So, so what abilities, basic skills, and cross-functional skills? In abilities, basically, the all cognitive abil ability, just as I discussed even, the cognitive flexibility, creativity, logical reasoning, problem sensitivity, mathematical reasoning, visualization. So, so we have to keep in mind the all when we when we want to develop any any uh, I mean uh, the content based on with the help of technology, then we have to take care of that. So that flexibility should be there. So because each and every individual they have their own pace of learning. If uh, the flexibility would not be there, then definitely it would be very difficult. Then the creativity, the reasoning part, the sensitivity, the problem sensitivity, mathematical reasoning and visualization, it's a cognitive ability. We have to take care of that. And uh, for physical abilities, physical strength, manual dexterity, and precision. So all the cognitive abilities and physical abilities and basic skills are just like content skills, active learning, oral expression, reading comprehensive, written expression, and ICT literacy. So before I mean <coughs> developing any program, so that I mean the digital divide in the context of uh, in context of basically the technology. So still in rural areas in remote areas and even the, in urban areas in slum areas so if you are making uh, uh, some technological uh, applications in terms of uh, uh, basically for learning any uh, kind of concept and all so uh, we have to take care of that uh, to for what group we are making so are they are uh, i mean literate are they are comfortable are they are uh, very effective they can they effectively use this technology so that the access to technology the basically the low cost technology that must be there so even the process skills active listening critical thinking monitoring self and others so monitoring self and others Technology also plays a very critical role in this. So, I mean, through all the assessment devices, with the help of technology, we can monitor. And uh, first of all, if we see the content sharing, it has been, uh, it has been, I mean, I mean, taken into consideration. But the assessment part and the evaluation part assessment of learner i mean assessment of learning and assessment for learning because uh, we are not still focusing on that so evaluation part and assessment part uh, uh, can be uh, uh, we can make it very functional with the help of technology but the adequate research and the research evidences must be on the basis of the result of research evidences we must focus on that so the cross-functional skills, like uh, all coordinating with others, like social skills, emotional intelligence, negotiation, persuasion, service orientation, training and teaching others, system skills like judgment and decision making, system analysis, complex problem solving skill, all kind of the resource management skill and technical skills. Not only because the learner must know how to repair, how to maintain the equipment. So that uh, that must be there. Otherwise, if uh, the learners are not comfortable in, I mean, maintaining and repairing their own gadgets and all, sometimes so the basic literacy must be there and the equipment operation and control, programming. So sometimes if we make some program then the some type of control manual and programming manual how to use it that must be there 
so technology and user experience design troubleshooting should be there and uh, it is really this is the complete skill set for success in the fourth industrial stage our industrial is if we would be not uh, i mean developing these skills if we would be not focusing these skills in ourselves in our learners then definitely that fourth industrial is we we cannot be successful so oh, definitely uh, uh, as steve jobs uh, said earlier that innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower so we have to make our learner leader not a follower only so for leader for making them leader we have to make them innovative and innovation needs creativity so sometimes uh, if we developing any educational content and uh, we are not uh, focusing the aspects of innovation and uh, creativity then definitely it's good for nothing and uh, as we know that uh, when mobile came into the existence basically so there is a very good uh, i mean proverb and there is a good saying in hindi kar lo duniya mutthi mein kar lo duniya mutthi mein ka matlab ye hai ki hamare paas complete we have uh, that power in our hand now but how to use it how to i mean judiciously use basically so the, that that uh, because uh, you know if you uh, just see the neurological neuroscience based research then the distraction among learners the attention deficit disorder in learners the headache and migraine in learners this is the basically outcome of technology using over using of that it has become sometimes uh, life style disorder <coughs> so definitely mobile learning is the future and uh, for that first of all we have to learn to use the mobile then we have to use the mobile to learn so this is what so i mean otherwise it would be the obsession like that it would be like obsessive compulsive disorder in psychology we say it's a ocd obsessive compulsive disorder so that obsession should not be there otherwise if uh, in family way period in pregnancy period if mother i mean use i mean mobile or the any internet kind of thing then definitely there is adverse effect on their uh uh their basically the prenatal child even the prenatal the on the fetus basically so that's why it's a very sensitive kind of thing so for mobile learning it is very important ki first you learn to use the mobile then you use to then you use the mobile to learn so this is what it is definitely as we know that uh, stener rao is a very eminent scholar is a scientist very sa good psychologist very good philosopher he says the 90% of indian universities have outdated curriculum that's why our graduates are not employable because uh, the technology literacy is not there even the use of adequacy the the judicious use of technology is not there because we we are not even the cross sex even so there is no difference between the using the solicited and un the basically the content 
the good content and bad content. So, first of all, we have to make our curriculum functional, effective, pragmatic, nation oriented, society oriented, learner oriented. That's why he says, Bharat Ratna, I've already scientists and are all said that 90% of the universities in India have outdated curriculum. He said, speaking at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. So that's, that is what, so uh, even when we talk, when we discuss, when we contemplate, when we focus, we now we can feel the paradigm shift in basic process of teaching learning process now in modern era in 21st era it is technology enabled education technology enabled learning so we have to make it you cannot stop it there is no question of choice it's a compulsory one so being a all all because you are all you are well versed in technology and uh, you are a person of technology but first of all you are a teacher also so the pedagogical sense the dynamics of teaching and learning being a teacher you must know and uh, if you are a teacher and a knower of technology then you can make it more effective then then you can make because only the, the man who knows only the making software making applications i mean they cannot be fit for this uh, job they cannot be fit so i mean after this because now I mean, you need also some rest some because we definitely we will be discussing the more aspects of technology using technology management and uh, i think uh, because uh, hello sorry to interrupt you sir yeah so can we have a small break of tea yeah, yeah, that's why. That's mm -hmm. why I'm requesting. Here. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for this informative session. We will resume again at 12 o'clock. Now we have a, just a small break for tea. So enjoy your tea. We'll resume again. Okay. Thank you.